Hey boo, what is going on? Today is such an exciting video, as you can tell by the title, period. We're about to deep and dive into some great nudes by Miss Juvia's Place. So I actually spoke about this on my sip and slate. We're gonna get straight into this video because I know my lips are gonna be so sore after this. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button to help a boy out on this channel. So if you wanna see what these nudes are like and they're only just dropped, keep on watching, poo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you were here for my sip and slate last Friday, you would have known, I would have said, a black on brand is bringing out something like really spectacular that was, what has, well it's been done, but like they did it in such a good way. And this is by Juvia's Play. So Juvia have not only come out with nude lipsticks, I just love their artwork by the way. So super, super gorgeous, super like, you know, just like, all skin tones, you know. I feel like not many black owned brands really nail like nude lipsticks. The only person I can think of that has amazing nude lipstick is Huda Beauty and probably, Mm, Fenty has really good nudes, but not not matte, not enough matte. So I just feel like when I heard that Juvia was doing this, I was just, why is this dog barking? So um, I'm gonna show you the PR package. I've had this for maybe a week or two, and I've just been I played around with a few colors, but I had one on during my sip and slay. And a lot of you guys were actually asked when you guys were trying to guess, yeah. Um, you what some someone said Juvia's place, and I was like, child. So we have glosses. Um, new glasses, lip liners, lipsticks. I just feel like lip liners is such a hard thing to do. Not many brands do lip liners, like, except for MAC and ColourPop, that do brown, really good lip liners. Um, I'm gonna deep and dive with you throughout this collection. Um, it's gonna be a lot, so I don't think I'm gonna try all of them. I'm gonna swatch and try some on, but we're gonna deep and dive and just, you know, get into it. So before I actually swatch and, you know, try anything on, I just wanna read what was posted on Trend Mood, because obviously, you know, um, by the time this goes out, you know, it'll be all out and ready. So this is the nude, um, so this is basically the um, new collection. Everything for lips by Juvia's Place. I think you can buy the bundle for $52. And there's four shades, so they've got mauves, the chocolates, um, peaches, and the look, the look liners. So the liners are $10, and the lipsticks are $14 each. And you can buy a bundle of four for $52. The glosses are 13, and um, the lip reflects are Four shades, or you can buy a bundle, or you can buy the oh, you can buy the full collection for two hundred and forty-six dollars, which I think is amazing because, like, looking at the shades, I think everyone can use each shade with each lip liner. So let's just get into it. That's what it looks like on Trend Mood. Super, super, super cute, like that. So okay, let's just deep and dive into it, and this, I don't know where to start. Ah! Okay, so let's start with the chocolates. Let's talk about the packaging first. This is the packaging. My one is dirty because this is the one I've been using. It's like a pink packaging. You probably can't see it because I'm an orange background. I should have used a pink background, but um, this is the shade I've been using, which I have been loving. <laughs> It is used and abused, and this is called Lady. I love the bullet, I love the packaging. I just think it's really, really different. I'm gonna show you that one. So that is Lady, that's like that, and that's a part of the chocolates. That is really, really cute. Another one that's part of the chocolates is Coca. Coca is not a shade I would really tend to go for. It's really dark, but this is a beautiful nude. Super, super gorgeous. They're really, really creamy and glide on like butter. And the other ones are, Toffee, I've actually tried Toffee. I think this is the one I wore on my Sip and Slay. This is probably one of my favorites out of the chocolates collection. And let me just swatch that for you there. That is so nice. That kind of reminds me of the Gucci one I really wear, but it's a tiny bit warmer. And then we have Muted. I haven't tried Muted. Muted is kind of like a sippy tone. It reminds me of something that Mac bought out ages ago, the kind of like kind of color range. And that's kind of more like a gray beige nude, as you can see. I'm literally gonna try some of them on for you now in the chocolate so you guys can see. So I deep dive into the lip liners. I think this category is so confusing. There's so much lips, it's actually really confusing. So I'm not sure I'll be able to swatch all of them because there's so many, but I'm, I'm definitely gonna swatch all of them on my arm for you and literally um, show you them. But the, my favorite liner out of them, so this is the Lux line, this is called Cola. And Cola's kind of like, mm, that's Cola there, looks like that. And it kind of reminds me of BFF4, but not as dark, but it's actually a really nice liner. So I'm literally gonna line my lips with that if I can find my damn mirror. And literally just line my lips because the only thing I would say is, um, I like a sharpener, so I'm not sure if you can sharpen these, I haven't read, but hold on. 
you can't sharpen them so it's a twisty one so you'd have to you'd have to get something you know like one of those little sharpeners but you can't sharpen them so that's the only annoying thing about this shade is so gorgeous i really don't think i don't think you need all of them just it just depends on how obsessed you are with lips but i do think she has killed it with this lip category when i got the email i actually thought it was bronzers because you know you guys know how much i love a bronzer but, but um this isn't sponsored by the way i just wanted to do the video because you guys know my favorite category is lips and highlighter okay everything but yeah that's a color lip liner i'm gonna try some of the nudes on for you okay so this is lady you don't have to sweat they're so creamy guys they're so nice they're like more a velvet matte they're not drying at all so that's lady there a really, really nice nude, super, super gorgeous, like, bitch. So I'm gonna try on Coco, which is this one. Ooh, first time trying this. This is, the formula of this falls is the same. So this would look nice and like more of a deeper skin tone, but obviously anyone can about this. This is gonna make my teeth look super white. So that is Coco. That actually looks really nice with this eye look, actually, my eyeliner. Eyeliner's from Charlotte Tilbury, I think, but yeah, oh, I like it with this look. It looks very like um, grunge. -y. Okay, so the last one of the chocolates is called Muted. And this is more of a sippier tone. They glide on so creamy. Let me get a mirror actually, because this one is a bit more <laughs> lighter. So if you like more of a lighter, kind of gray nude, there's a MAC for that like, lipstick comment that was cool, but it looks very similar. You can just pat it on. They're so creamy. Like, if you don't like a, a too matte, matte of a lipstick, you guys are gonna like this. <laughs> my lips are already starting to go sore. It's just because my lips are drying anyway because a bitch hasn't been drinking enough water. So that's it there. I really like this shade. When you blend it out with the lip liner, it isn't as bright. So when you first put it on, you're like, oh, well, hold on now. now. Well, hold, hold on, on now. now. But I just feel like each nude at the chocolate is beautiful. I think they'll look beautiful on any skin tone, but liner is key. Remember that, guys. You can't wear these without liners. Well, some of them you can't. Well, some of them you can. But some of, if I was to wear this without a liner, I would look very um, Adam's family-ish. Okay, so moving on to the morphs now. I actually haven't tried the morphs. Actually, is this the right one? Yeah, yeah, to the morphs, yeah. So the first one we've got is a morph moment. I love the name. So that's it there. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Pink Plaid by MAC, but just a bit more creamy. Remember Pink Plaid by MAC? Oh my God. People used to be obsessed with that color. And um, we've got Kebby. Ooh, Kebby looks nice. Ooh, that reminds me a bit of Torp from MAC. Is it Torp? Maybe something else. Very, very similar. It's a gorgeous colour. I think I'd really like that colour. Um, the next colour we have is 2020. Ooh, 2020 has not been a cute year, but it's a shade cute. The shade is nice. Again, in the pink family, looks... The colours are quite similar, but very different undertones, which I just think she's just nailed it because each person can find an undertone in these lipsticks. And the fourth one is called She. So this one is, oh, the undertones are really nice in these. Um, I'm not more of a mauve nude, but these are super, super cute on. I'll zoom in for you. This is what they look like on the skin. Um, I think I'm just gonna try one of these, but you guys can see what kind of color you like, but mauve isn't really my kind of jam. I'm gonna try on one of the colors for you just because otherwise I don't want this video to be so, so long. I'm just lining my lips again with this. Is it called Cola? Cola liner. I'm gonna talk to you about the liners after and the colors just because um, you're probably gonna wonder why I'm not using other liners, but I'm gonna tell you after why. Color is definitely my favorite. It's a really nice shade, really easy to apply. Yeah, so let's put carry on from the mauve section. This is the only one I'm gonna try on from the mauves because the other ones aren't really my jam, but if you like the mauves, you can definitely probably cop them, but I'm gonna swatch all the lipsticks though, by the way. And you guys want me to do a live sip and slam Friday? I don't think I'm gonna do a live one. It'll probably be pre-recorded. If you have any topics for me to talk about, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you don't know what Sip and Slate it is, um, it's a series I do every Friday talking about gossip, real topics, makeup that's coming out and just general, you know, chit chat and I kind of talk to you when it's live, but let me know. This color is nice, but again, I'm not, it's actually a really nice color, but mauves isn't really my jam. It used to be, but I feel like I have to be in a particular mood, but hmm. It's actually nice if you want to give your face a bit of color, but this is a really nice shade. And this is Kerry. Kerry? Kerry. Kerry. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, and we have the last section, which is the peaches, guys. Like, this this is such a big lip collection. For like, for them to bring out lips and bring out so much variety, we haven't even gotten to the glosses yet. So I'm going to swatch the peaches for you. Mm, do I like a peachy nude? Do I? Oh, this shade's nice. This is called... Ooh. 
this shade is pretty this is called me this is really really nice i think this would look so good in like an asian skin tone but anyone like any skin tone but and when i used to work for mac a lot of like asian skin tones like medium to dark skin tones love a peachy nude but i think that peachy nude complements many skin tones anyway this is called in vogue and i actually love the package i haven't told you um they don't feel that heavy but they're very light but um you know i can't remember what the price is but i'll leave everything in the description bar below this is called in vogue this is definitely a proper proper peachy nude that is a peachy ass nude i think with a gloss on top that would look so bomb actually oh my god i'm gonna put on my favorite one after and show you with a gloss but that is really gorgeous and this is called Madame Moselle. Ooh, Ooh child, these are getting light. This would be a bit, this would be a bit too light on me, but on more of a lighter skin tone. I could make it work with a liner and a gloss, but I don't want to have to finesse a lipstick that much, but that is really, really nice. These are the peachy nudes. Um, the next one is called Libra. Libra? Why am I saying Libra? <laughs> and why is there a new star sign? Like, is that true? How can you just be adding a star sign? That's like adding an extra alphabet. Like, it doesn't make sense, sis. That is the shade there. And that is the peachy nudes. They're all really creamy, guys. These actually glide on like butter. Like, they're really dunker butter. Like, they're so, so gorgeous. I'm going to try the first one, which is that one right there. Because the other ones are just going to be... They'll be nice, but I feel like a bit too light for me so i'm gonna line the lips so this is the peachy one called me which i'm gonna apply where's my mirror i keep losing my mirror out here I always go from the bottom because you can at least blend it out but <laughs> it's gonna clash in my background these blend out really easy by the way so that is it there i really like this shade actually it's really nice i don't tend to go for peachy nudes but i know a lot of people like them but this shade is gorgeous it's very natural especially with the liner it's called me i think the other ones will be a bit too light. i'm gonna add another one on top actually so let me add libra which is a peachy nude also mm, that's quite nice if you wanted to add a bit more you know drama to the lip you can actually do that mm. should i add okay i want to do the glasses by themselves so you guys can see but that is definitely a vibe i'll definitely wear that it's actually really cute <laughs> okay okay so guys my lips are hella hella dry um let me just show you the other lip liners before we deep dive into the other so i'm just checking what time it is before we deep dive into the other like you know lip categories so she's bought out one six liners so you've seen cola i'm gonna swatch cola is my favorite one because i feel like still there isn't enough brown liners out there for deeper skin tones well there's still, there is but I just wish there was different shades of browns like she's done liners but they're different kind of tones which i get because each line each lipstick is peachy morby chocolatey so this is called lush i've never used this before so let me swatch this so this is more pinky so for me i couldn't use a liner like that unless i put it all over the lips but then i think that would look amazing if you really like matching your lipstick to your liner which i personally don't like doing because it can look very clownish and the next one is called sweet nothing and this looks, if, mm, can I use this? No, actually no, it's gonna be a bit too cool for me. Definitely someone for a lighter skin tone though. Maybe medium skin tone, you can, can you see it there? What's my hand doing? It's literally, hold on, there, can you see it? There, which you can barely see it, but um, it's quite light, which looks like that. Oh, okay, okay camera, camera focus. focus. Mm -hmm. So that's it there, it'll, it'll, it'll just be too light for me, you know, it's just, wonder if you can, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, wonder if I can use this in the eyes? I'm, Next thing you know, I'm going blind. Oh, did I do Lush already? Maybe I did, did I? Yeah, I did. Did I? Yeah. The next one is called Scorpio. Ooh, I could use Scorpio actually, but Scorpio has a purple undertone. Very, giving me Night Moth vibes from MAC. Um, I actually heard the discontinued Night Moth, which is very mad. I could obviously use that, but it's brown with more of a purple tinge. So if you are really deep and you struggle to find like a, deep, a dark enough lip liner, Definitely you could use that, which is so good. And they would look amazing with any of the nudes, especially if you're lighting, you want a, like a really lighter lip, that liner would look amazing. The next one is called So Rare. I actually haven't swapped. Oh, this one actually looks really nice. Mm, it's a bit too cool toned, but it's still nice. There it is there. So it, it's very similar to Cork, but much cooler. I definitely, mm, can I wear that? Mm, I couldn't wear that, it wouldn't show up on my lip. It's basically the same shade as my lip line without the liner, so I couldn't wear that, but that's a beautiful shade though. Ooh, I could definitely try and like mix it in with a lip shade, but really nice. Um, and the last one is, oh, I can't even open this. Hold on, let me get my tweezers. The last one is Love Me. Love me, hold me, 
This one is a pinky. Oh, this reminds me of something, but um, that is it there. It's quite pinky. So, so you can see from the lip liners, you can see there isn't many browns. It's only the one brown, which is color, which is fine. But um, I just feel like for me, I wouldn't personally go for a colored lip liner. I'd like it to be brown or light brown just so, you know, when I wear my nudes, I can be like, you know, popping, yeah, locking, locking, getting, getting a, man, a man, you know, you know NFL, NFL trapping, NFL. NFL. So um, my favorite is obviously cola. So those are the liners. But if you are like to match your lipstick to your liners, go do you, do you poo, do you. So these are the glass glosses. Super, super gorgeous, like so nice. I'm gonna try these on by themselves just so you guys can see them on the lips without anything on. The gold one is calling my blood clot name. Okay, so let's try. This is called, it's electric. So let me see, they better be, they better have a scent. Oh, it smells like, it smells very, it's like on my nose. It smells very honeyish, not sticky, smooth. See reflex of gold glitter, here for it, not too much. Really like this. I love the applicator as well, it's really thick. It's quite, it's like the Fenty one, but I love it. <laughs> I need help. Love this gloss. Love, love, love. Okay, so this is the next one. It's kind of like pinky. My lashes look so mad. I'm really sorry, guys. I look very mad today. Like, is that true? It's very true. I'm in such a weird mood, but I'm, I feel good. But you know, we'll talk about our dip and slay. Um, this is called So Glazed. Oh, it's got like a pink, purple spot corner. Oh wow, what in the Wizard of Oz is going on? This is gorgeous, wow. Love, I love it by itself. I'm not sure if I'll pull it over a nude. You, you could pull it over a pinky nude, but I wouldn't pull it over a brownie nude. Well, you could. It's up to you, there's no rules in makeup. Do what you want, do you know what I mean? But I love that, and that's called So Glaze. Obviously like a donut. And the last one we have is obviously just a clear one, but I'm just gonna test it out for you anyway. This is so beautiful. The packaging kind of reminds me of the Lime, the lime Crime one, do you not think? I'm gonna try it anyway. It smells really the same. They all smell a bit like honey. Oh, oh hell low. No. Okay, line crime, me and you will not be seeing each other anymore because I think I just found a dupe. This is a dupe for extra popping by line crime because they look the same, but it's not sticky. It's it feels like butter, but it's very similar to extra popping by line crime, but I like the formula of this butter. Obviously it's black owned and you know, and this would look amazing over a damn new because it's clear, but I hate when these get dirty, but you know, who cares, it happened. Okay, we need to get into the other glosses. Are these glosses or liquid lipsticks? I'm not even sure what, the, I think they're glosses, but look at these colored glosses. Mm, the pinky ones, but these ones are calling my blood clot name. These over nude lipsticks would look amazing. I just love the range. Let me try these on. This is called Caramel Rose. Oh, what a nice name. Are, they, are these matte? Same, same smell. These are so pigmented. I definitely need a liner with this, but imagine it's over a nude lipstick. Banging. I think each, you're definitely, each glass is obviously to complement each peach, mauve, and chocolate range of the lipstick, so it makes sense. It makes a whole lot of sense, but obviously I look crazy, but I just wanna show you it without anything on, just so you can see how nice it would look over. I think this would look nice over the chocolates because it's more kind of like chocolatey, caramelish, you know? It actually does not bad by itself, but it makes me look kind of poorish, but I kind of live for it, you know? The next one is called CC and it looks like this. It's more of a pinky nude. These are really pigmented, so definitely be careful when applying them. It definitely feels definitely more sure. This one's, I could wear this one by itself. Mm, it's nice, it's, it's, it's nice. So it's a tiny bit pinky milky, but again, it would look really nice over the morphs. Even the peaches actually, pretty. So we have two more left and this is called Kiss Me. I actually love the, I love the top of this. It's just very juvia. I, I, I think I they all got different finishes. They're still glasses, but some are definitely more pigmented than others. Oh, this reminds me of um, Saint Germain, but in a gloss. It's actually crazy how I always like compare it to MAC colors. It's just, when you work at MAC, you just get all the colors in your head and you just remember them. This is nice, obviously a bit light, but yeah, it's actually nice by itself. It's actually pretty. If you like more of like a nice gloss and like you're kind of like a gloss girl, you could definitely rub this by itself. This one is scaring me by itself, but I know this would look banging over like a really nice lipstick, like a nude. This is called Barely There and this looks hella milky. Like she's catered for everyone, but it looks like a concealer. No, ba Barely There 
barely there. It's just you can put it over a brown nude. If if your lip if you have a, a lipstick that looks too dark and you want to tone it up, definitely add this. But she's not she's not for us alone. But I'm glad Juvia has got a range for each skin tone. But that would look really good in like a medium skin tone, lighter. But that looks no, it's a no for me. But it's cute. What I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna put on my favorite color and line it with cola. I'm gonna put my favorite lipstick on and add the gloss so you guys can see like the finished look. Okay. So I'm gonna add a bit of cola just here. I do, I wish to have pencils, so that's the only thing. These are pencils, they're banging, but I do kind of think it is easier because sometimes even when I bring out lip liners, it's just annoying to sharpen them, but they actually do give really good position now. It's actually really easy to use. Oh my god, my lips are so imagine if I swat if I imagine if I did a liner lipstick and gloss with each one, my lips, the filler would have break down and my lips would be bleeding. Even though I've tried on most of them, my lips still feel quite moisturized. So I'm gonna put on Toffee, which is one of my favorite nudes. You guys know the colours I like and what I gravitate towards too. And this is is this is the colour like it looks so like natural, it's flesh toned. But um, trying the other shades, I would definitely incorporate them to other videos because I can wear all the shades really, but with the cold liner. I wouldn't use the other liners, but um, I'd probably use, actually I would use the um, darker purple one, but cola just goes with everything. It's just, it just, it just, it just bangs. It just, you know, it's a bit just, it just, it just connects with my DNA, you know? I'm gonna choose a colored gloss because you, a clear gloss would be too predictable. So I'm gonna go for the, the caramel rose. Is this gonna turn it darker though? It looks amazing. I think this one is so pigmented, so I'm gonna have to tone it down. Okay, so that's it with the gloss liner and um, caramel rose. Caramel rose is the most pigmented out of the um, glosses. So definitely be careful if you do purchase this when applying this over lipsticks because it's got a heavy pigment to it, so I actually really, really like that. I'm gonna try one more for you guys before I end this video. Okay, so I'm gonna try and Kebby, and this is from the Morphs. Just a color again. I would say these aren't like a matte matte, they're like a natural demi matte. Maybe because of like taking off glosses and when I applied it on my lips are kind of moisturized, but I really like that color as well. I'm actually gonna put on a gloss. Should I put on a color gloss or the clear one? Let's put on the clear one just so we know what the vibe is. Oh, it's gonna be dirty. Oh, I hate that. But that is gorgeous. The gloss is nice and I love that combination. So that is the end of the video, guys. If you guys wanna see me try more of these nudes, definitely let me know. Um, My final thoughts and everything is I love the range. I definitely wish there was more chocolate. That's just my personal opinion. I love more of a chocolatey brown nudes, like beigey chocolatey brown nudes. I just feel like there's so much in lips you can really explore. I definitely wish there was more brown liners, but I guess with cola, anyone can wear cola. And I, and I think there's a different brown for each skin tone, which Juvia's done well. She's basically got a liner for each skin tone that any, everyone can work with in these lipsticks. I do believe everyone can wear each lipstick, but you just have to maneuver it and make it your own. Um, if you do want to get the bundle, the bundle is cute and the packaging is nice. I'm going to show you one more time. So this is what it looks like, like that. And when you close it, it looks like that. And it's kind of good that you can buy all of them in the bundle. It's basically like a PR package. Um, I really like all of them, man. Child, let me, let me add some of this gold before we go. The glasses are so amazing. Like definitely like, oh, look at that. The glasses look like glass. That's what they're called, glass glass. But um, I would definitely say for me, if I was gonna like buy them, I'd definitely just get the chocolates. Maybe some of the mauves, but peaches and mauves aren't really my kind of jam, as I said. Definitely try and cut the glosses. The clear one, the gold one, pink one, mm. And the, the, um, the normal glosses are all banging. Um, but obviously, um, let me guys know in the comments down below if you do pick up some of these. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know if you want a stick and slay live this Friday, but if not, I think I'm gonna do a pre-recorded one. Cause I've done two lives in a row now, and they're really, really, not that hard to do, but I'm up um, at midnight in the UK time. So and if, if not, let me know a good time to do the lives because uh, everyone lives in a different state in America, Canada, wherever you're from. So hope you guys have a lovely, lovely week, and I shall see you soon, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and sip and slay. Bye.